Our next problem will deal with Euler paths and circuits. Determine whether the graph has an Euler path, an Euler circuit, or neither. If the graph has an Euler path or circuit, use trial and error or Fleury's algorithm to find one. To determine whether or not we have an Euler path or an Euler circuit, we're going to look at the degree of the vertices. What's really important is whether we have even or odd vertices in the graph. So let's begin. We're looking at the number of edges coming off of a vertex. We have two edges coming off of A, so A is going to be an even vertex. For B, we have one, two, three, four vertice edges coming off of the vertex, so that's going to also be even. For C, we have one, two, three, four edges, and that's even. D, we have two edges, even. For E, we have two edges, that's even. For F, we have one, two, three edges, so that's odd. And for G, one, two, three edges, and that's odd. Now, according to Euler's theorem, there are two odd vertices, so there exists at least one Euler path, but no Euler circuit. We also know that in order to come up with the Euler path, we want to begin at an odd vertex. So we can notice that if we just quickly do a trial and error, if I start moving around the graph, we end up at G, and then I can make my way around the box, and I'll end up going through every edge once and only once. Now, let's go ahead and list that using our numbers. We'll, ed we'll mark the edges. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then working up around the box, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we can list that using the vertices. Starting at F, we'll go to D, then to B, up to A, to C, to E, then to G, and then we go up to C, to B, down to F, and over to G.